inflation is the uh, price of buying products and services, um, and that price is going up over time. And um, to some degree, at a reasonable amount of inflation, say, you know, it's been averaging something like one and a half, two percent for the last number of years. A reasonable amount of inflation makes sense because as people are able to charge more for products, it also allows them uh, to uh, give employee uh, merit increases. Uh, and so to increase the uh, pay of their employees, et cetera. So a certain amount of inflation is reasonable. Um, you know, where we're looking at our recent rate, seven, eight percent um, inflation rate is, is quite high. And so um, that creates challenges for average consumers who are out trying to buy products and services and all of a sudden it's more expensive. And pay has not been keeping up with how fast products and services have been going up. And so that pinches the average consumer. It's kind of happening for um, a number of reasons, but fundamentally, Inflation is going up because there's more demand for existing product services than there are available products and services. So why all of a sudden do we not have enough products and services to meet the demand? Part of it is because products, the, the supply chain has been diminished while demand has been going up. And how the supply chain got diminished is during COVID because people were not consuming as many products and services companies started slowing down their production of products and services. Um, you know, had manufacturing um, that started laying people off, started slowing down or even part-time, you know, idling plants or even shutting down plants. And during COVID, they had to do that because they couldn't keep make, paying all of those costs if they weren't going to be able to sell their products and services. Well, coming out of COVID, now you still have all of the supply chain that is not caught back up to what it was pre-COVID. You know, it's really hard to turn a plant back on. It's hard to hire employees really fast. And so coming out of COVID, um, the supply chain is still somewhat um, a bit anemic or a bit uh, less effective and efficient, and it's not producing the volume that it did pre-COVID. And then coming out of COVID, while supply chain has been a little diminished, you've got demand that all of a sudden just ballooned. Um, you know, a lot of government funding and subsidizing, for many it came in the forms of loans, uh, grants to small businesses, uh, the pay, uh, payroll protection program, for example, for many businesses. Um, you had individuals getting money, you had lower interest rates, so people were able to borrow money and um, at cheaper rates, therefore they were buying more. And so, yeah, it really created a quick imbalance because so much money was put out there and now that people were not in lockdown with COVID, they're, they're outspending and they're out spending with a vengeance. So all of a sudden, all of that money is generating a lot of demand. So you've got all of this demand that's gone up and you still have supply that's been somewhat limited. And so because so many consumers, I mean, if you were trying to buy roller skates in the last year or two, you had to wait like six months to get roller skates. If you wanted to get a bike rack or a bicycle, many products that people wanted, couldn't get them and people are willing to pay more for them to get them now. And so that has been driving up prices. That's why we're seeing such high inflation right now. And so how the economy will slow itself, one is, as prices go up, people may not be able to afford it, so they start backing off spending a bit. That hasn't happened too fast yet. The, the other thing that the Federal Reserve is doing is raising interest rates. And how that tries to slow demand is if it's more expensive to borrow money, then people um, will shy away from borrowing either as much or they might not borrow the money to buy a house or a car or you know, uh, those assets that take a lot of borrowings to do. Um, and so uh, as the interest rates, go, interest rates go up, people will borrow less. As they borrow less, there will be less money um, out trying to purchase products and services. Fundamentally, we've got less supply and a whole lot of pent-up demand that's now coming out.